good shoot relies on successful pre-production. Every successful post or color correction session relies on good habits during shooting. The best charts on the market for handling a camera like RED or any high-end HD camera where picture is king is DSC Labs Camaline Series. Each Camaline is individually calibrated in RED with a spectrophotometer to pass DSC's stringent quality control test. Each of the color and grayscale chips is RED four times, and if any of the chips do not pass, the chart is shredded. Thanks. Now, high dynamic range is the hallmark of the RED camera, and it's not attainable on matte charts like this one. If you were to use the matte black chip, which is really gray, as your black, a huge amount of dynamic range would be lost, including shadow detail and the like. It's important to note that a chart like this was designed mainly for photo work. In fact, the shape of this chart is similar to that of a piece of still 35 millimeter film. This presents our first challenge. We tend to work in rectangular aspect ratios, like 16 by 9. The DSC lab charts are designed in this aspect ratio. Because when you are doing your color correction, you don't want to eyeball it at the beginning. It's much better to use scopes. The most popular ones are called a waveform monitor and a vectorscope. Now, the best product on the market for this sort of thing, we think, is the Leader LV7330, like this one right here. This one product gives you two massive uses. You have a full set of professional scopes, both in the studio and you can take it in the field. Using the 7330, you can pull up a vector scope, which shows you color balance and saturation. It's one of the main ways you can quickly get your picture under control and matched up with other shots. However, this is only easy when you've shot the right chart. Here's a perfect example. Earlier, we took our camera out and shot the matte chart so we could take a look at it on the vector scope. Let's do that. <laughs> That's a mess. There's no real reference points and no logic to the shape. Now, we also shot the Chroma Dumont chart. See? A hexagon. Each point gets near the box. So you can see how easy it would be to get your picture balanced just using a vector scope. You would just work your color controls until you get the points of the hexagon into or near the correct boxes. Doing it this way versus eyeballing numerous shots from your scene and trying to match them up is like night and day. So as the vector scope deals with color balance, the waveform deals with light. It's the scope that gives you a good read on your dynamic range. In other words, it shows you your signal from light to dark. Now, to accomplish this, you need the brightest whites on your chart and the blackest blacks and the steps in between. This is the goal of this section of the chart. It's an 11 step grayscale. Once again, let's take a look at the matte chart on a waveform and see what comes up. Ugh, not good. Okay, let's take a look at the chroma Dumont. See, you can identify the individual whites with the two whites on the waveform. You can identify the center black so it's easy to track what you see on the chart, and what you see on the scope. If you want the ultimate black, you need to use this. Look, it's called cavity black. It's a black that's achieved by creating a cavity in the center of the chart with a partially enclosed black fabric cup behind it. Now let's talk for a moment about color accuracy and why it's so important. If your chart does not have pure grays or whites for that matter, you can end up with serious color issues when attempting to white balance later on. See, red has a small issue when shooting in bright sun. As you begin to put ND filters in your map box to bring the light into a usable range, you cut down on the visible spectrum. And more and more infrared begins to take over the sensor and alters the overall color balance of the picture. Now, the big problem here is that some charts also have a problem with infrared reflection. Now, this can be a nightmare. You could find yourself chasing two moving targets and not knowing which one is messing up your picture. DSC Labs ensures your grays are always gray and your whites are pure white. If you use a red, sooner or later someone is going to talk to you about effects work. It's one of red's strongest qualities. There is a specific chart from DSC Labs that has been created for this purpose. It's right here. It's called the Chroma Dumont Bullops chart. It's got digital green and blue special effects chips from composite components plus Roscoe's Chroma Key green and blue. High chroma slashes, which are right here, are very useful for checking and tracking chroma aliasing through post. And then over here you have a data information panel 
including nodal to chart distance. I did not know what nodal meant until I looked it up. I thought it was a Star Trek thing. It is the point at which the light beams converge in your lens. Now, inch and centimeter scales allow you to take the nodal chart distance, and it enables a simple calculation of camera viewing angle. Sky blue ramps and grayscale ramps. Now, this is used when you do a lot of image processing. Sometimes you can end up with banding, and these two areas will identify that quickly. You've got two reflectance spheres. Now, the black sphere not only shows number, position, and type of lighting, a spot or a flood, but also the hue or color filtration of individual lights. The white sphere shows the integrated level and color temperature. Shoot a precision DSC chart on the set anytime the lighting on your current shot is different than the lighting on your previous shot. Without a reference in the head of every lighting change, you will be spending energy and time trying to save your picture instead of using that energy making it better. Whether it be from a lighting change or from a moved camera in the same lighting or sun movement due to time passage. When in doubt, shoot the chart. So to get the most out of your red's picture in post, you need to shoot test targets that are precise, current, and have truly neutral gray scales. They also need to have color data that's meaningful. Two rules to live by. Precision test targets are invaluable. Inaccurate test charts will create more problems than they solve. So, you know what you need to do, now you can do it. You know you need to do it right, so use Cameline charts from DSC Labs.